This is PMA Fitness. Yes, YouTube, what's happening? Faisal here, AKA Mr. PMA, and this video is long overdue. This is a brand new warm up session, okay, which you can do before a workout or at the start of your day. So let's get straight into it. We're going to go, all these movements are going to be brand new as well, okay, so compared to the, the very last warm up video that I did all those years ago. So we're going to go into a, um, it's called a groin, a groin or elbow reach. So we're going to go into a plank position. We're going to step one foot out and this is my left foot and I'm going to just reach my left elbow back and then just slowly switch it over. And what we're aiming to do here is step your flat foot, okay, as far out as possible. So if you can get it by your hand, that's amazing. If not, that's absolutely cool. And then we're just going to try to wrap that elbow around a body. So when you're ready guys, let's just get into that lovely little groove. We're gonna spend about 30 seconds here. Step your foot out, wrap that elbow around. Beautiful stuff. Good, just another 15 more seconds. Really opening up those hip flexors, getting into that T-spine. The upper body, five, four, three, two, and one. Eyes on the screen, watch me here. We're gonna go for hip opener reaches, okay? So my, both my knees are 90 degrees. I'm gonna swing them over, and then I'm gonna reach up. I'm gonna swing over, reach up, okay? Really thrusting that hip off the floor. Okay, let's get into position, let's get ready, and let's go. So you're taking your time here, getting used to the movement. And what this does is this opens up those hips and then that reach at the end really progresses the stretch down that hip flexor, down the front of your thigh. <sighs> Breathing all the way through this, guys. Nice. Another 20 seconds or so here. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Okay, next one's called a child pose, 180. So a normal child pose, watch me here, is where your bum will be down on your heels and you'll just reach forward and you'll stay in a static position. Okay, but we're gonna inch our fingers round all the way to one side, creating that big 180 degree angle, that big rainbow all the way around to the other. So when you're ready, let's get into position and just fingertip your way all the way around, keeping those arms nice and straight. You'll feel the stretch all the way through this movement, really getting into our lower back, getting into those big side muscles on our back, the latissimus dorsi. Good, getting us ready for the day, ready for the workout ahead. Nice, about 10 more seconds here. Good, good, good. Five, four, three, two, and one. One you may be a bit more familiar with is that cat cow. So on all, on all fours now, you're gonna tuck your tailbone under, round your back out, and push your hands into the floor. And then we're gonna flex to the hips, open up our chest and still pushing our hands into the floor. And I want you to take your time in between those two uh, points. So we're in cat here, and then we open up that chest, and we go to cow. If you haven't already started, get into it. Beautiful flowing stretch, this one. Nice. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right, this one is now called a gorilla squat. So you're gonna hold underneath your toes, you're gonna sit into your squat position, and then you'll extend your legs, look through those knees, and then come back 
chest up, bum down into that nice squat position. So you get an awesome stretch in the back of your legs, and then we get an awesome stretch in those hips. Again, taking your time, working to your tempo, your speed, just as long as you're not rushing through the movement. It's a nice, continuous flow. Nice, about another 15 more seconds here. Beautiful stuff, guys. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, penultimate movement is gonna be an alternating RDL, okay, which is a Romanian deadlift. We're gonna go with single legs. So you see here, I'm trying to touch the floor, but all the movement is at my hip, okay? So I'm flexing at the hip, keeping my balance, and just taking my time. All right, let's get into it. And you'll know straight away that what you're doing here is you're really lengthening out your hamstring, your glute, and what, more importantly, you're activating it, you're switching it on, you're telling that muscle, okay, cool, I need you to work now. I need you for the day ahead, I need you for the workout, I'm about to smash. Good. Find that balance. Nice. Now, 10 more seconds here. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, and one. Last one is gonna be a side bend windmill. So I want your feet to be shoulder width apart. We're gonna go with one side bend, doesn't matter which way, the other side bend, and then we're gonna go to an opposite windmill, all the way around, okay? So for me, and then we're gonna alternate. So watch me here, just follow, okay? So we're gonna go right arm side bend, left arm side bend, and then a right windmill all the way around, and then we go left arm side bend, right arm side bend, and then left, as long as you're doing a clockwise windmill and then an anti-clockwise windmill, that's what I wanna see. Ooh. And you get that lovely stretch in your lower back, upper body, your T-spine, beautiful. Just get familiar with the the different ways in which you're moving your body. Good, 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 good. Oh, it's about another 20 more seconds here. Pop, pop. Good, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Shake out your arms. Have a little bounce about. If you're starting your day, have a fantastic day. If you're about to step into a workout, switch your positive mental attitude on. Your body's prepped and primed, and we're good to go. I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. I'll be doing more soon. Check out my cool down video coming up. And from me to you, spread that positive mental attitude. Yep, yep, yep.